Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a back and buys workout. I am going to be showing you each move and in the description box below, I will write down the reps and how many sets you're doing. So all you will need for today's workout is different sets of dumbbells as well as resistance bands. So getting started with the workout, you wanna make sure that you properly warm up before you start the workout. So the first exercise in this workout will be a single arm row. Now I want to make sure that you guys think mind to muscle connection. Really think about what muscle group you are working and you will see so much more progress when you do this. Here I'm just showing you the different angles. Make sure that your elbow is tucked in and that you are pulling to your back. Make sure you are not tilting sideways. Just keep it nice and straight. Something I had to constantly remind myself was to keep my neck straight. You do not want to be putting any strain on your neck as that will cause many issues. Once you are done this exercise, 15 reps on each side, we are going to superset it with dumbbell pullovers. So make sure that you are not doing tricep extensions. You are going to want to keep your arms slightly bent Make sure you squeeze as you lift up the dumbbells. Now once you have completed 15 reps of this, take a one to two minute rest and then repeat it two to three times. This is circuit one. Once you have completed this circuit, we are going to move into bent over reverse flies. Like I said, mind to muscle connection is extremely important. For this exercise, we will be doing 12 reps. Rest for 30 seconds to a minute and repeat it one more time. Moving on to our second superset, we are going to be doing a modified wide grip pull-up. Now, if you have a pull-up bar at home, you can do this as well. But for this exercise, I show you how to use it with resistance bands. We are doing 15 reps of this exercise. Then we move straight into close grip pull-ups. This move is very similar to the one we are supersetting it with. After those 15 reps are done, rest for one to two minutes and repeat this two to three times. And we are done working the back and we are moving on to the biceps. For this next exercise, we are going to be doing a twisted bicep curl. Remember to keep your elbows in tight. Do not be moving them back and forth or side to side. And here I'm just showing you the different angles, making sure that your arms are tucked in tight and they are not wobbling. Now for the next exercise, we're going to be going straight into hammer curls. For this one, I will let you sit and you are just going to be raising them straight in front of you. Once you are done 15 reps on each side, take a one to two minute rest and repeat this circuit one to two times. Now we are going to do a bicep burnout. And trust me, your arms will wanna feel like they're gonna fall off. Now this is only one set on each side, so you will not have to repeat this, so go as hard as you can. Make sure that you are doing these moves slow and controlled. This creates the muscle growth that we all want. And that's it guys, you did it. Woo! So that is it for today's workout video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe, hitting the bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And stay tuned for more health and fitness style videos. My arms feel like they're going to fall off. It's a hurt so good kind of feeling. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.